Hey everybody and welcome to Kirby's Epic Yarn. This game, I, I really wanted to play this game again. Unfortunately, it's, I'm not playing it in multiplayer, but I just, I wanted to play it again in, in multiplayer. I might do it again at some point, I don't know. But for now, I'm just going to be doing it in single player. And let's get started. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Lately there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around, turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato on top of a bush. I bet it's yummy, but when Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No! That's my magic metamato! Kirby gulped the metamato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like trousers. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. But the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. This game has a, a certain charm to it that I really like. Thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. This is my castle, so feel free to look around here as much as you want. Saving. Anyway, let's press up on the d-pad to go in, since we're holding the controller sideways. And let's go in. One player. It, this game is... Ah, oh, it's, so, it's so good. Anyway, starting off we can double tap to turn into a car, which the game will teach us in a second here using these signs. Also use two to jump, which also, I love how it turns Kirby's feet into like a spring for his jump. Here are some beads that we can collect. It's basically just points for each level to try and get a good score. We can use one to, uh, like whip at enemies or something to unwind them. Or we can hold down the, the one button and it will roll it up into a ball which we can throw as a projectile. Same like we can do with this piece of water here that will respawn from this jar thing here. It's so cool. Uh, these blocks here we can't destroy with our whips, we have to use a projectile to break them open. Just like that. Now, if you throw an enemy that you've rolled up into another enemy, it'll give you beads. But I think if you do, like, just anything that respawns into something else, uh, it will just give you nothing. A star is the most, uh, worth a bead can be. So that star was worth a good amount. Uh, we can also go into this water here where we can press the two button to float, or we can uh, probably press it in a uh, while well, holding a direction to go in that direction faster. So, but anyway, we also have on the top of the screen a bar that shows us how we're doing for beads. I'm going to try and get as many, uh, the most as I possibly can. So we have the first one, which is bronze, and then there's silver and then gold. I think 
There might be another one after that, but I can't remember. It might just be gold. Anyway, we can also press up and down on the Z-pad to go up this ladder, collecting some more beads. Uh, this platform here, we can go from underneath it, but we can't go down from above it unless there's a ladder, which is important to note. Uh, but anyway, let's grab this as well. Those are some collectibles that we'll be finding along the way. Uh, we can use our whip to un... Like, to take, like... Well, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a flap that we can take off of the screen. Uh, and there's going to be three collectibles in a level like this chest here that we need to collect in each stage as well. Chandelier. The chandelier is very simple and very elegant. You can't go wrong here. Okay, over here we have some door-like things. So it push, puts us into the background behind the wall, which is really cool. Which means we can get past this these blocks here that we can't destroy. Those blocks there also fall down, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Now... Uh... Let's press 2 in midair to float down slowly. Very nice. Also, the music in this game is really good. It's just really... It's, it's, it's such a chill game. There's no way to die in this game, which is good, but you, if you fall into a pit or something like that, or get hit by an enemy, uh, you'll drop beads, which you need to get the high score. We can uh, uh, whip this pin or button to pull stuff around the screen. If it's a blue pin, it'll just destroy itself and we don't have get to do anything else with it. Uh, but I believe there are some pins that will need to be... Like, we can use multiple times. This button here we can swing on if we whip it. Which allows us to swing up here to get the king's throne. You'll feel like a king when you sit on this gold-plated pl throne. Gold-plated? That seems very specific. Uh, if we jump and then press down on the Z-pad, we can also ground pound to break stuff as well. Uh, if the enemy has a, like something that's sharp, like a spear, we can roll that up and it'll make a a sharp projectile. This will pierce enemies, so it can go through more than one. Also, there is um these like circle things with multiple stars in them. We need to collect those for a specific reason once we get to the end of a level. Anyway, this is showing how to use a car form, which allows us to go faster. Theme from Patch Castle. This new music plays in Patch Castle, so that's the song that's playing right now. Uh, but anyway, let's get rid of you. Don't think there's anything else. So, the circles that we've been collecting with the stars in them, uh, they unlock these three areas on this wheel here. And the more stars on the wheel, the, the more you get from getting that part of the wheel. We just need to whip the bell at the right time, which I think is when the star is on the, the one that you want is at the flip on the top of the thing, so. Nope, I missed it. That's fine. And that's the end of the level. Let's see how we did. We got all up to gold in, st uh, in beads. We also got a good streak, which means we didn't get hit by anything, probably. Good amount of beads, and we got all three treasures. Thanks for your help, the blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ugh, yuck! Stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff, Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it. That's a piece of the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. He and Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces, and the two began their journey to stitch patchland back together. So there we go. Also, multiplayer, you can actually 
pick up your second player, which is Prince Fluff, and throw them as a projectile weapon, I guess. But there we go, we've unlocked Grassland, the first world of the game. Not counting Patch, patch Castle slash Patch square, square area. We can also unbutton these to put up these umbrellas here, which doesn't do anything other than create platforms for us. We can see that there's a lot of stuff here that we'll be able to unlock as we go further into the game. But for now, let's talk to this guy. Prince Fluff, what an unexpected surprise. Oh, and who might your friend here be? Lord Kirby, you say? He is vis visiting us from another world, you say? How exciting. My name is Don Wool, and it is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. Lord Kirby is helping you save our beloved Patchland. Oh, that's just wonderful. I am the manager of Quilty, Squ uh, Quilty Corps here. Court here. Please come inside for a moment. I insist. Not that we have much choice, but here we go. Welcome to your new home. Hehe. <laughs> well, I suppose there's not much to look at just yet. But I would be honored to have one of Prince Fluff's guests staying here. And he gives us a chair. A proper home must be a be uh, properly furnished. Please accept this gift uh, this as a gift from me. Feel free to furnish your new place in whatever way do you desire. We will discuss the rent later. Oh, cool. Go ahead and enjoy the space. If you have any questions, I'll be around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I hear another uh prospective tenant walking by outside. So yeah, this is Kirby's flat, which means that if we hold the, uh, hang on, if we hold the Wii Remote at the sensor, or well, I don't know what it is on 3DS because I'm played on 3DS, um, press A, we can say OK, and now we can do certain things like place an object. So let's select that and place down the chandelier and put in the King's Throne. We can only put up to 24 items in the room, which is shown up here how many we can have. I can also put away something by grabbing it and putting it into this box here, basically. Uh, but I'm going to put that back probably just for now. I don't really have a lot that I can do. Uh, there's also a different furniture, the objects that we can find. Some of them work as platforms, some of them work as background. Uh, it's all, all over the place, really. We can also use copy to create a copy of something that's already in the room. So that makes it easy enough. Press B to cancel out of something if you need to. Uh, and what is this? You can also... oh, I see. So you can use this to put something that's editable into here, and you can select a certain pattern to put onto each bit of the thing, so... We don't have anything really, out except for the walls and floors wallpaper, wallpaper, basically. You can use them either way, so that's cool. And we can also select which part of the object we want to decorate, so we have the... the chair legs or the chair uh, like seat itself that we can change the pattern on. But I probably don't want to do that, so I'm going to just leave it as it is. We can also change the wallpaper, as I said. Uh, I believe it's that one and that one, so we can do... We could be... make it really cursed by swapping these around. Just like that. That won't annoy anyone, probably. Ah, uh, but anyway, just press back and then press 2 to go back to normal. Just like that. Ah, uh, but anyway. We can sit on this chair if we press down on it. Same with the other chair. I don't think we can stand on the chandelier though. So, but that's all we can do in there for now, so let's leave. Also, I love his happy animation. <laughs> just the moustache just bouncing everywhere. Anyway, let's go to the first world by going over to the right here. Welcome to Grassland. We have a few doors around that are the levels that we go into. Uh, we can also see a few, like, patches, like, spots for stuff. Just, like, this thing here. Just outlines of things, or down there. Uh, we can also see the void, since we need to stitch the planet back together. Uh, but let's go into the first level over here. We can also stand on that, apparently. 
probably don't need to, but anyway, let's go into Fountain Gardens. Let's try to get, uh, get all the stuff. All the stuff and all the fluff. Let's get that. For a bead. Now, let me see if I can use you to get some beads from that. Yep, like that. Oh, and this enemy here, you might want to not want to take it out straight away because it drops beads of varying sizes and colors. The colors, I don't think matter. I think it's just the sizes that show what the value is. But I want, I want all. We can also see the, the platforms inside of the tree from the outside with those green stitches. But anyway, grab all that. You can also grab this guy. Looks like this enemy is out of stuff though, so let's just throw this, if I can, throw that at you. There we go. The beads bouncing around, which is not ex exactly helpful since they go down the hill. But anyway, let's go back up here. I also have you here that I probably could have used. That's fine. Okay, put you down. Actually, let me put you down on the other side. If you just tap down, it'll put you put it on the ground. Okay, good, good, good. Let's get this. Flower sofa. This cute sofa will always smell like the like a fresh bouquet. There we go. Very good. I don't think that's going to give me anything. Nope. Also, I might want to go into this before we press the or activate the bead thing there, the button. So let's do that, and let's activate that. We can't get the stuff, or the, one of the things down there, if we hit that switch too early, so... Get some more beads. The music in this is... really... nice. It's really nice. Uh, another one of these guys, I'm gonna probably try and keep alive. I don't really need extra beads though, probably. That's not going to stop me, I guess. Ooh, give that. Yep. Good. Oh, is that all of it? I think it's all of it. Alright then. This is a red button here. That we can un... Well, we can pull. So let's pull that. It doesn't... Uh, remove it, so... Whenever we pull that, it puts this back into place. After a few seconds. So let's grab that. Three stars for the end goal. And also... Some beads. Very nice. There's also some really cool interactable things, like this tree here, if we swing on it, drops beads down. Also, I might want to grab those before they disappear, because they can do that after they've been moved, so. Very nice. And we also drops a star for completing all of them, getting them all off the tree, so. It's all very interesting. Just gonna do all this. I can also pull you down. Give me the beads directly. Just like that. I don't think it's probably faster. Not by much, at least. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. I love how everything's made out of yarn and felt and all that. It's so well done. But anyway, let's grab that. Beads. And also this. A star. Very nice. We've made it to gold, so now we just need to make it further into the level. Uh, let me get rid of that. Oh, and this here is really cool. I don't think I can take this with me, so I'm going to get rid of that. If we hit this uh, the zip here, we can pull it away to close it, or we can or open it, and then we can also close it as well, but we need to open it. Now we'll drop down, changing the level layout, allowing us to go down here and get this unlo uh, item. Fountain. This fountain is perfect for any room that is big. <laughs> Any room that is really big. Cool. We can also do this thing here which will teleport us to somewhere else. Going through the background. It's really cool. This game's so cool. But anyway, let's grab those. Let's go down. Oh, please. Thank you. Get rid of you. Also, because that uh, surface here is sloped, it made the arrow projectile go at an angle after touching it, so... Grab that, please. Also think I want to go up here so I can get another unlockable. The music for the level. Very nice. Also, I love how some of the beads are shaped as flowers as well. There's so much detail in this game. It's crazy. Uh, but anyway, I think we want to go over to the left first. So we can get up here. 
We can't go back down now, but that's okay. Because we need the five stars there. I don't think we can go over that either. Ow, please let me go down. Thank you. Now let's go up the right side. Just like that. Star, very nice. We have a lot of beads. It's incredible. So I think we're getting close to the end here. So let's just ruin their friendship right now. And let's open this up. This is a special thing to reveal, so let's un pull that. And this is a transformation. And now we are tank bot, which means that if we rotate or turn the Wii remote, we'll change the angle that we're looking at. And we can press uh, 1 to shoot and B to hover. So now we are going to destroy everything. In, in two players, one player will also be able to use their uh, shake their wheel right to spin the fist everywhere, or press one or two—I can't remember which one—to shoot the, their fist off and use it as a like a their own shot, basically that they can also control by tilting the controls controller. But anyway, let's destroy everything, getting a whole bunch of beads. Tankbot Kirby can't stand on top of these uh, platforms, otherwise they'll just fall down. Also need to hit all of these so we can get some extra beads as well, please. Thank you. We also need to not get hit because we can still take damage, so we're gonna probably best to stand back here as we take out this wall D that's sh shooting at us. Just like that. Very nice. Go, 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 before that gets that. And this is the end, which will just turn us back to normal. It's so cool. But anyway, this is the end of level. So let's see if I can actually get the five star this time. Just like that. I think you want to hit it just before it hits, possibly. Please? Oh my goodness. I'm bad at this. So there we go. Three stars. Good streak. And all three collectibles. And we now have the bat- the butterfly. The butterfly patch. I know what I'm saying. Uh, press 1 to throw a patch and open a new stage. So these fulfill basically the empty things that have been I pointed out earlier. Just need to throw it and it'll do something special. I don't know how two butterflies make all these flowers bloom, but it's, it's, it's logic. Didn't say it was perfect logic. But anyway, let's go into flower fields. Again, I love this game. I haven't played it in too long. I haven't finished it in forever, basically. Uh, but anyway, let's go. We can also swing on these, so let's do that. Get all the beads. And when we stand on these platforms, they spin, depending on the weight of Kirby, but also we can make all the flowers bloom, or all, all the petals bloom, so we can get some extra beads. Just like that. Oh, I, I messed everything up, it's fine. This game's very forgiving. So, please go the other way, thank you. Grab all that. You don't need to be uh, too careful with getting all the beads, but it's still good to take your time and get them all, all if you want, so. Uh, but anyway, there's also a big one down here that we can activate. I don't think it's giving me any beads, though. No, it's just there for funds. Get all these. Thank you. Let's swing onto the big one here, which I think will give me beads. Yes, it will. Just have to stand on it for long enough. Very nice. There we go. Also, there's our first unlockable, apparently. Not too hard to get. The flower clock. It's always time for a little sunshine with this with this timepiece. Also, I see that up there. Let me see if I can reach that with the car. There we go. Cool. This guy is a sharp object, so we can grab him and throw that at something. Like this bee. Except this, this 
no, this fly, I guess, I don't know. Uh, whenever something is a flying enemy that you can roll up like this, you'll make it into a homing projectile, basically. So let's throw that, and it goes, curves into whatever you want to hit, so. Let's get on top of these. So we can float up. It's fine. Just need to go up, collecting all the beads. There's so many cool ideas in this. Open up this frog's mouth to swing on that. Frog Umbrella Stand. This umbrella stand uses its fro magic frog power to bring you all lost umbrellas. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> uh, but anyway, we have some water here that we can swim down in. We can also use these fish to get some extra beads. Or not. Oh, I guess there wasn't anything to throw that one into, so... Let's go up here and grab these. Okay, silver. Doing pretty well. Uh, this Waldy has an umbrella here, which means that we can either take him... You have to, like, it's a shield for him, basically. But it's also a platform for us if we want to use it, so... Let's go up here and get... Oh, an exclamation mark. This is like, uh... I don't even know what to call them. But it allows us to pull something off the screen. So let's pull this off and get the music. Those are for the collectibles, so we need to actually keep an eye on those whenever they spawn in. I love also how the beads always make a shape. Like, the, the beads down there were making a fish. It's just, it's just so much... There's so much in this. There's so much to it. Okay, we've got gold. Just need to not get hit now. And also, please go up here. Very nice. I want those. And let's get the five stars. So we can use that now. And now we have another transformation patch here. So let's turn into... a UFO. Which means that if we hold down two, we can actually... pull stuff into us, like beads. If it gets too far away from a, a beam pulling stuff up, it will drop, so... Or if we turn it off as well. Uh, but if we go over an object that we can pull in, like this... We can absorb them, and I think if we get three... It makes us have a power, and when we press 1 now, destroys everything that we can destroy on screen, which includes the stuff that we couldn't destroy normally, which is cool. We just grab those before they disappear. Let me check out what's up here before I move on, because this is the three stars. It's interesting that they put the three stars, like all the star pieces, in different places. Uh, but anyway, let's destroy all this. In multiplayer, you have two UFOs, which means you can get a lot of powers to destroy stuff with. Uh, and over here, if we hit this uh, exclamation mark thing, spawns in a bunch of beads for us. I believe they usually do different things each time. Oh, I got hit. That's not good. There goes my streak. And also all my beads. I need to get them before they disappear. Please, thank you. Uh, but anyway, we can uh, get some of these enemies so we can destroy more things. Just like that get my streak back up because I've destroyed everything. Ah, uh, these bees, these bees here can actually hurt us though, so we need to be careful. But they do respawn, which allows us to get extra attacks. Just like that. Which we can use against them if we need to. Ah, uh, but we need to use that right here to get to the end of the level. It's sad to see a transformation go at the end of the area, but it's necessary, so... There we go. And let's see if I can actually get the five stars. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I was scared for a second there. I don't think it would have done it, but still. So there we go. Gold three stars, because I got all those beads. The streak was a lot lower, I believe. No, it was 335. I guess that's okay then. And all three items. Very nice. We've already got 10,000 beads. And we have the alarm clock patch. But that is it for now. Except uh, I'm going to get interrupted here in a second here. Oh dear, what a pickle. What a pickle. What a definite pickle I am in. What's up? 
Prince Fluff, Lord Kirby, you're still here? Oh thank goodness I ran into you. I'm in the most dire of, of pickle straits. Could I possibly ask for your help? Thank you ever so much, Lord Kirby. Your generosity shall not go unnoticed. You see, I can't seem to find anyone who wants to move into my new building here. It's the market. Ah, uh, which, uh, what it is one to do. I think sprucing the place up a bit will, would definitely attract some new tenants. I'm so glad to hear that you agree. Now, take a look at this photo. Could you do me a favor and decorate the room so it resembles this picture? Wonderful. My. That was much easier than I expected. You chaps certainly are helpful. Well, I'll, I'm sure you'll find the furniture you need in areas you've already visited. So we'll have a look at this in just a little bit. But anyway, for now, that is it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.